Diane Sanders has led the Colorado Buffaloes to a notable turnaround this season, moving from last place in the Pac-12 to a competitive 5-2 record in the Big 12. While the media spotlight hasn't shown as brightly on Sanders this year absent viral postgame soundbites and celebrity entrances, his team's performance has spoken volumes. After a rocky start, including a humiliating 2-8-1-0 loss to Nebraska, where quarterback Sheeter Sanders faced relentless pressure, the Buffaloes have turned the tide. They've since secured impressive victories over Colorado State, Baylor, and a commanding 3-4-7 win against Arizona, proving their resilience and determination. In a recent interview, Sanders responded to former President Barack Obama's lighthearted comments about the team's talent, asserting, we got more than two good players. His confidence reflects the dramatic improvement seen on the field since the Nebraska defeat. After that game, critics worried the season could spiral into another disappointment, but Colorado has consistently silenced doubters. The Buffalo's recent form showcases a balanced defense and a revitalized defense, thanks in part to an influx of transfer talent. While the offensive line remains a concern, ranking 100th nationally in pressure allowed, Shadur has elevated his game, currently fourth in completion percentage and 16th in passer rating. Despite the pressure, he's managed to throw 19 touchdowns against only six interceptions. Colorado's defense, once a liability, has undergone a significant overhaul. With new players like linebacker Nikai Hill-Green and cornerback DJ McKinney, the unit has surged, climbing from 124th in scoring defense last season to 47th this year. They've consistently applied pressure, racking up seven sacks against Arizona, showcasing a transformation that has brought newfound hope to Boulder. Despite injuries to key players, including two-way star Travis Hunter, Colorado's depth and determination have shown through. They've displayed a running game that, while not yet elite, is showing promise, averaging over 90 yards in four of their last five games compared to last year's struggles. As the season progresses, Colorado looks poised to secure a bowl berth, which would mark their first since 2020. The team is not just playing for a postseason spot, but also for respect in a competitive Big 12 landscape, where they are one of six teams with either one or no losses in conference play. The upcoming matchup against Cincinnati is crucial. A win would further solidify their comeback story. Diane Sanders, despite a quieter public presence, has effectively cultivated a winning culture in his second year at Colorado, transforming a previously struggling program into a contender. While the Buffaloes may not capture the same media frenzy as last season, their on-field accomplishments are creating a compelling narrative. As they continue to compete, it's clear that Deion Sanders is reshaping the identity of Colorado football one game at a time.